So I finally got the chance to check out 5G and it was in one of the places I never expected to be able to check it out, which is my own hometown of Providence, Rhode Island, is lit up with 5G thanks to Verizon. So we made the trek down all the way from Boston down to Providence to check out 5G using the Galaxy Note 10 5G Plus in our testing here. Now, the way Verizon is delivering 5G, they're doing it through multimeter wave, and that has some advantages and disadvantages. One of the best advantages of it is that it's gonna give you the, probably the fastest speed you're gonna see on 5G, just blazing fast. You're gonna see that in some of our speed tests here. But the downside of that is that it can really depend on sort of line of sight from where you are, from where the 5G cell tower is to where you're standing, what could be in the way of that. And it's also not the best in terms of penetrating inside buildings just yet. You'll probably drop down to 4G LTE when you're inside those places. So there's a couple things to kind of keep in mind here, but technology is just rolling out now and it's gonna take some time to sort of work those kinks out to where we'll get 5G everywhere, anywhere you want it to be, because that's sort of the whole point of it as we're rolling this out here. Now, the first test we did was the obligatory speed test because we have to do the speed test here, of course. And as you'll see through the several speed tests that we did, the download speeds that you're gonna get from 5G on Verizon is ridiculous. It went from anywhere from 1.2 gigabits per second all the way up to 1.8 gigabits per second we got on a couple of our speed tests. Blazing fast download speeds. That's faster than most, most home internet out there. It's, it's, it's way faster than it's crazy how, how fast those downloads are going here. Uh, uploads right now are limited to 4G LTE, so you're seeing the upload speeds there, but that's just 4G LTE upload speeds. They haven't activated 5G for uploads and, down, uploads and downloads just yet. Right now it's just for downloads, so just keep that in mind here. Speeds are just unbelievably ridiculous, as you can see there. Now, while those speeds are real fast, we really gotta test this in some real scenarios to see what would people really wanna use 5G for? And I think the big things are obviously downloading video content, downloading games, and downloading music as well too. So one of the first things we did here was actually download some stuff from Spotify. I signed into Spotify, I decided to, to try to download all of my liked songs. It was about 308 or so. I wanted to see how fast I would download. And as you can see, the speeds are so ridiculous. I can barely keep up with how fast the songs are downloading. And I set this to the highest settings in terms of quality for the downloading. And you can see how fast it's downloading. I can barely keep up with it. And it downloaded all 308 songs like in a matter of like a couple of minutes. It was already done. Ridiculous. After music, we decided to do some video downloads. We did that using Netflix. Decided to go and download some episodes of Stranger Things, and you can see the speeds per episode it takes nearly a matter of seconds. You can have seasons and minutes downloaded right onto your phone. Blazing fast. That's gonna be great for those that may wanna download something just before they're getting on a long flight, and they wanna be able to grab it real quickly before boarding. That is going to be a great thing to be able to do on 5G. It is not just going to be about downloading content. It's going to be about businesses running their business on 5G. You're going to see a lot of people using 5G as their home internet replacement. Their, their whole digital internet service is going to be all on 5G. That's going to be sort of the goal you see every one of these 5G carriers sort of bring out here. They want to be your total internet service provider, and that's what they're going to be aiming for here with 5G. Verizon, with the speeds they have right now, it's pretty amazing. I'm hoping to get that same uh, download speed and upload speed to kind of parallel each other. It'd be really cool when that comes, comes around. We get that penetration in buildings when that comes around. It's going to be great. But this is what we're going to be seeing with 5G. Let me know what you guys' thoughts here on this, on what you expect from 5G. What do you want out of it? Do you just want it for the mobile aspect on your phone, or do you want to replace and be your main source of internet service at home? Uh, no matter where you go, post your comments. Let me know what you guys think below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.